was 18 years old in Vancouver, BC. I had a pain develop on the right side of my knee over about a four or five month period. And one morning I woke up and I couldn't get out of bed. And that day they told me that I had to have my leg amputated in four, in four days. Well, right from the start it was a terrible shock. But I had encouragement and support from all kinds of people. And so right from the beginning I, I took it as a challenge. And decided I'd try and do my best and show people what could be done on one leg. And I decided after my year and a half of chemotherapy that I'd try and run across Canada and raise as much money as I could for the Canadian Cancer Society and try and help out these people. You know, sometimes I have to run in a lot of pain and I get pretty tired. But I don't feel any pain when I get support like this. You're fabulous. And I'd just like to thank you for that. <laughs> It's been 41 years since uh, Terry ran his Marathon of Hope. I feel like it's a real privilege that this many years after he's passed away, people are still remembering him and, and talking about him. Um, we've raised over $850 million in his name. There's um, events all across Canada, there's events all across the world, and so we're still raising money through the Terry Fox School Run, through the Terry Fox Community Run, through all of our special events and, and events like uh, Hockey Fights Cancer. So that we still have a lot of work to do, but we've definitely seen a lot of progress in, in treatments and uh, more positive prognosis in cancer. When I think of Terry Fox, I, f I think of somebody who's going to fight for what he believes in, not only fighting for himself and, and uh, in a cause uh, like cancer, but fighting for his community and people around Canada and the world. And you know, he's a true inspiration to a lot of Canadians and a lot of people around the world. And, um, you know, I'm proud to, uh, to say he's a Canadian. Well, there's been so much money raised over the years for what he did and, and uh, growing up in Canada, obviously, uh, in school, it was always a, a big deal every, every year to uh, take part in the Terry Fox run and, and raise as much money as, we, as he can. Um, the determination is something that's stuck with uh, Canadians ever since uh, um, Terry did what he did and it's, a, it's, a, it's definitely a special day for everyone. There's been so much progress made since, since Terry ran his Marathon of Hope and we know that there's a lot more work that needs to be done and for anybody that's been affected by cancer, please know that the Foundation does what we do for them. We hope that one day we won't have to say goodbye to the people that we love because of cancer, so we really want people to, to understand that they are our motivation and um, there is hope and we're really excited to that the Terry Fox Foundation can partner with Hockey Fights Cancer and um, we're so grateful to um, the NHL and the Canucks and all of their fans for supporting us tonight. So we're really grateful. I fight for Deanna and Jeanette. I fight for my dad, Duke Besser. I fight for BC Kids. I fight for Nana. I fight for BC Kids. I fight for a cure. I fight for Janet Craig. I fight for a cure. I'm Bo Horvat and I fight for BC Kids. We all can make a difference. We all can do something amazing. Terry wasn't any more special, any more gifted, any more better than anybody. He, uh, he just tried hard and he wanted to make a difference and we all can do that. He is a true Canadian hero and an inspiration to everybody.